Hello and welcome to rotate a video in shortcut. Just add in filters. You can access this via view uh, filters if it's not enabled by default. Click on the clip, click on the plus and add a uh, rotate and scale filter here. And uh, then just add keyframes for the rotation. So click on this, use keyframes for this parameter. And now you should have keyframes enabled down here. And now you can start, let's let's start at zero, and then at some point we want to rotate it to, well, 360. You can see it actually does rotate. All right, so what if we want it to rotate even more? We cannot increase it to 720, can we? No, we cannot. So to work around this, uh, let's delete this keyframe. And what we would have to do here is uh, jump to this key, oh, okay, by clicking it, we jump on it. So now we would have to split split the uh, clip. So let's go to the timeline, use this or press S. Here we go. Okay, this is getting a bit complicated. Uh, let's click on this and let's, uh, you know what, let's just create a preset. Let's press on the plus. This is, while this is selected, let's press the plus. Okay, that was weird. I had to type in some letters and then just press enter. Let's try that again. Okay, actually this should appear. I don't know why I didn't. Let's call this 360 okay and now we can simply apply the same to this one so let's click on this and select 360 and then we would go again to this keyframe back to the timeline split and continue so this way we can have multiple rotations uh, there might actually be a one frame delay here in that case we might want to uh, split one keyframe before the 360 gets reached anyways this is how you can rotate a video multiple times. You might also want to compensate uh, the scale so that the black borders don't get shown. You can simply scale in. So maybe that's what you want to do. To rotate text, let's first create a new track, a video track. Let's go to File, Open Other, and create a color default so it stays transparent. And this black clip we drag to the timeline. Here, for example, while this is selected, let's add a text filter. Yeah, let's go for simple. And we're just gonna write, oh dear, look at the time. And I'm just gonna align it a little, make it a little smaller, center it a little. Okay, that's fine. And now to rotate this, we would do the same thing. Add filter, rotate, rotate and scale. In keyframes, I'm just gonna go to the beginning, jump here, we could use a preset, but I'm gonna go for something else. I'm gonna start this at zero, enable keyframes by pressing this icon, and I'm gonna to jump to the end, okay, here, and I'm gonna set it to 180, actually minus 180. Okay, and now we can watch the whole project over here. There we go. So now we have rotated text and rotated video. Hope this helped. Of course, you can use this in many different ways. Check out my other shortcut tutorials, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.